approach fall. It was a summer full of severe weather from a tornado on Pikes Peak and major flooding in the plains to a violent hailstorm at Red Rocks. We saw it all across our state, and that includes our agriculture producers in the southern parts of the state. Among the crops impacted with the, were the famous Pueblo chilies. 150,000 people are expected to visit the Pueblo and Chile Frijoles Festival over the next three days. So is there going to be enough to feed the hungry crowd? News 5's Eleanor Sheehan is getting answers for that tonight. People are coming to Pueblo this weekend for the famous chilies, and the festival coordinator says there are plenty to go around. You can see here that people have already begun setting up their roasters in preparation. But with the severe weather this summer, it hasn't been easy for chili farmers in Pueblo. This year has been rough. This year's probably been the worst that I would imagine that we've ever seen. Morrow Farms has been in Carla Howen's family for more than 100 years. The plants are there, they look beautiful, but they're, the quantity of chili that should be on them is not. Her farm has lost thousands of chili bushels this summer because of weather. Too much rain in the spring, too much rain in the you know beginning of the summer, the hailstorms that came through, and then all the cold weather. She says the lack of 100 degree days has caused a shortage of chili peppers. The whole county is missing tens of thousands of bushels out of their fields. Despite the shortage, an event coordinator says there's enough chilies to go around. All indications are that there's going to be plenty of chili for the average Pueblo chili customer looking to put up their few bushels for the year. She says chili is Pueblo's specialty. Pueblo chili is unique. It's unique to Pueblo County. It's a, a very unique strand of chili. It's just meatier, bolder, spicier, just like the people in Pueblo. And over the three days? From in town to out of town uh, to the farmer's markets, about 50,000 bushels can be sold over the course of that duration. Carla says there's a good chance her farm, among others, will run out of chilies this weekend. Carla says typically this time of year she is packing peppers to freeze and sell later, but right now there's not enough to do so. As for the Chili Fest, activities start tomorrow at 3 p.m. right here in downtown Pueblo. In Pueblo, Eleanor Sheehan, News 5. Eleanor, thank you. News 5, we will be live at the 29th Annual Chili and Frijoles Festival. Rob Quirk, my co-anchor, he's going to be at the festival. Stop by, say hi to Rob. If you can't make it to the festival, join us tomorrow night for News 5 at 5 and 6 for a live look at all the fun.